guys, your buddy Chris here. Got everything on the Shark HD5 extended bed all set up. Um, and my only complaint uh, with the whole thing is their dust boot. Um, the dust, the boot had had these uh, this really soft haired brush going around. Well, it was so soft it was being pulled into the vacuum hole, which isn't good because it blocked all the dust from going out. The second problem that I was having was this was a two and a half inch port, and I knew that going in, I thought I could make it work, uh, but it was just not, between the combination of the brush and the uh, open port, it just was not pulling the material in very well. And so I really wanted to outfit it with my normal dust collection, which is all four inch. So, uh, what I did was I went to Kent CNC, and they've got this really good brush. It's, this is a stiffer nylon, and on the inside, they've actually got this shorter one inch brush to help prevent that from coming in and curling into the dust port uh, so it's kind of doubly nice plus it's got a nice acrylic setup and it's got the four inch port as you can see here and i've outfitted it with mine with a quick release it does come with that so i've got mine where this quick in quick out so i can do some cleaning on the table and back on the router uh, but i'm absolutely loving this and what i also went ahead and did was i got the half inch magnet there's a half inch strip, and both of these operate on magnets. You see this is protruding, this is recessed, and these perfectly align and they're very strong. And then on the back of the spacer, it's got the same protruding magnets that actually stick up into there. And you see how quick I, I assembled that on there. So I'm absolutely in love with this, and it works really well. Um, one cool quick feature is not only does it have these stronger bristles and have the ability to have this spacer for different length of bits if i don't if i'm using a shorter bit like a like a v bit i can take that spacer out as it sits i've got about an inch and a half from the bottom of my collet to the bottom of the brush so that's more than enough for most of the bits that i'm going to use uh, with the exception of maybe a long ball nose um, or a huge long uh, you know end mill like a half inch by two or something that's more than sufficient to do what I want to do and it's going to get it done so um, let me show you the other part of the system that I was debating and tweaking and then we'll uh, see how that works so I showed you the quick a quick adapter that I've got here to be able to quick quickly take that off to clean up anything on the table um, what I've done is I've got it mounted from the ceiling and then over and down. I was gonna come from that way over and have a designated arm with PVC and I may still do that. Uh, but for now, I really got some projects I need to do. So I wanted this thing to work. Uh, and so I can really kind of test it out. So I've got it up here and I've got it attached with some springy uh, bungee cords. So that way it kind of gives a little bit of spring back and it kind of helps hold that up. Uh, then it's coming across and then I've got two elbows and then coming into my PVC going down and that is structural and then I do have it coming out right there well originally I was just gonna hook it over to my normal dust collection and I still could but I went ahead and, and to make sure that I'm pulling enough CFM I hooked it up to my little miniature jet uh, and normally I was gonna hang this on the wall but I thought you know what I've got this stand uh, let me just outfit it with this little flexible piece of pipe here and I've got it stationary where it's not going to go anywhere and then I have two elbows uh, coming off now this is a five inch port here and what I was what I did was I went to the hardware store and they had a boot uh, for converting clay pipe over to PVC or metal and this fit almost perfectly around there and this fit pretty well here what I did was I actually put in a piece of a uh, small piece of PVC around my um, elbow and uh, between the the PVC and the elbow that worked out really well and I did come in and tape it just for extra precaution so then that's coming down and then I have this port here so if you can't figure out what I'm trying to do I'm using this to do a good bit of the pull and then I'm going to actually come right here and hook that in to my existing dust collection and then over to my separator. So I'm still going to get the capability of pulling all the chips and all the fun of making that nice dust collection. Now let me show you here what we got. I'm going to throw some stuff on this piece of scrap. And you can see what we got going on. So I'll lay it up here on the table and let's go ahead and flip this on. 
and we'll walk over here and we'll flip this on. Now I've got extra pull. Now, I'm gonna put you low. There you go. Man, this thing sucks, right? That's awesome. Anyway, uh, this is Chris with Chris Cross Crafts. Just showing you my updated dust collection and my updated uh, somewhat redneck way of making it work. But I'm using the little jet as a booster to increase my CFM even more and I still get to use my separator. So I give that two thumbs up, but I only have one hand because the other one's holding the phone. Chris out. We'll see and see you later. I'm not on some fancy stage. Nope. But I am under the light show. The LED light show. Yep, LED's been installed on the uh, Shark HD5. Had an extra strip left over from a job I was about to do and well, took advantage of it. Pretty cool, now I can light up the whole area where the bit's gonna be.